I'm gonna snap this to where my wrist is at. I use your IKFK switch. It's pretty large, you can shrink that if you want. And now I'm gonna go back to my hypergraph. What I want to do is I want to make it so that the position of the real wrist controls the IKFK switch. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find the left real wrist. So here's left real wrist. Shift click the IKFK switch. Constrain. I'm going to do a point. Actually, let me double check my IKFK switch if I froze transform yet. I did not. So I'm going to freeze transforms first. Go back. Real wrist, IKFK switch, without maintain offset, apply. What this allows me to do is whenever I move my cube, this IKFK switch text always follows the wrist. All right, now here comes the fun part. Before everything, I'm going to delete all by type. History, file save scene as. Make this mode to. Okay, almost like this right now. I'm going to go to edit, add attribute. I'll call this IKFK blend. I'm going to use minimum of 0, maximum of 10, default of 0, add. I'm going to select all of these because they get in my way. Right click, lock and hide selected. So they stop bothering me. I'm going to start lock and hiding some of these too. Let's see, I rotate purely on the x-axis. So I'm going to select all of these. Right click. Lock and hide. Lock and hide. I'm keeping visibility there because I'll be keying that. And this I can do all rotations. Lock and hide. Lock and hide. This will all be translations. Lock and hide. Same with this. Lock and hide. This way when I rotate, it'll always rotate on the proper axis. Okay. So I'm going to go to animate. Set driven key. Set. Should have a dialog box like this popping up. This is going to become my driver. So that's my driver. And now for the driven, here's the fun part. I'm just going to select every controller. See all those? I'm also going to go inside the hypergraph hierarchy and I'm going to select specific things. So I also want to select the IK text and the FK text. I also need to select both of these. You'll notice it's called left, let me just make this larger, left elbow joint orient constraint and right uh, the left um, real shoulder orient constraint. So I'm selecting these two right here. The total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. They're all my driven. Let's take your time doing this. So, whenever IKFK blend equals to 0, left arm pull con visibility should be off. I'm going to key that. The elbow con, I need this to be on. So I'm going to keep it on, I key that. Shoulder con, I also want that to be on, I key that. Left arm IK con, I want this to be either off or on, this is up to you. Some people like leaving the cube there because um, it allows them to preset where they're going to uh, move their arm. I guess for this case, I'll, I'll leave it because it is actually quite useful. IK text is going to be off. FK text is going to remain on. Notice I did not key this right here because I'm not going to hide it at all. And now I'm on the left real shoulder. FK is on, IK off. I'm going to select both of these in here, key it. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. For IK, I have it off. Select these two, key. Now I'll go back to the IK FK switch. I'm going to change, change this number to 10. Arm pull con now is on. With its visibility, I key it. Elbow con is now off. I key that. 
stroller con off key that ik text is now on key fk text is now off key left real shoulder joint orient constraint i want to switch these two key key at this point your setup should look similar to this if i move this around you notice there's no more third arm inside moving in between that's because the arm is actually falling fully to this ik right here if i select the ikfk switch and i'm gonna blend it between you'll notice that the arm switches between the two and now when i move this around when i'm in fk mode it fully follows this is the ikfk switch now let's go through and hide all the extra things we don't need so i'm gonna go here lock and hide lock and hide lock and hide let's blend this over here we go take this right click lock and hide what I'm going to do next is I'm going to hide the extra arms so I'm going to window hypergraph hierarchy and I'm going to find where the left IK shoulder is and the left FK shoulder I'm just going to go and press control H I've hidden them they're no longer there and all you see now is the IK little controller right here. If I move this around, notice how you don't see the extra arms. I can blend this between both of them. And that gives it a really cool effect. That is the IK FK blend setup.